the aspirations of Warren Wilson College reach higher than the craggy mountains that surround the campus. This college of 900 students, nestled in the Swannanoa Valley in western North Carolina, has big dreams of making a difference in the world. With partners in nearby Asheville and in neighboring Swannanoa, Warren Wilson reaches out to make connections and work collaboratively within the community. Lessons learned here prepare the inspired not only to make a living, but also an impact. Warren Wilson College is a really exciting place where we ask students to commit to learning through academics, work, and service, which here at Warren Wilson we call the triad. Um, so service is a huge piece of what we do here at Warren Wilson. Um, in addition to the triad, we also have a significant commitment and focus to environment and sustainability. And that is evident through different departments that we have, different initiatives that we have, um, and different courses that we have here on campus. Um, our service program focuses on a variety of issue areas. Of those, we focus on youth and education, race and immigration, food security, housing and homelessness, and environment. So a lot of the partners that we do work with do have a large emphasis on the land and land conservation. However, we do work with other community partners that have a focus on connecting the issues of environment with social issues. And one of those examples is the Insulate program. And that program works with a community partner, um, community action opportunities, and they work to insulate the homes of low-income families within the Buncombe County area. And this is a program that sends out multiple trips over the course of the year. Um, it is a multi-year partnership at this point and has a high success rate of student engagement, faculty engagement, and success and community impact. There is evident impact immediately at the end of the day for these projects. It's a really exciting way in which our campus partners with the local community. So this fall, our campus is engaging in what is being called the Swannanoa River Project, which is a really exciting project in which six classes are working with approximately five community partners on understanding the Swannanoa River, understanding the people who live around the Swannanoa River, how the river affects their life, and then also working with an agency to reclassify um, the river. Hi. Um... I'm Graham Paul. I'm the director of the theater at Warren Wilson, chair of the theater department. And this, the Swannanoa River project is really interesting in that why did I, as a theater person and our department, become involved in an issue that, was, uh, that has to do with environmental quality, sustainability, and uh, all of that kind of thing? And it's, uh, I'll tell you how it happened. I've been getting more interested myself in performance and in, in, in the ideas of like site-specific performance and a sense of place. And I knew I was going to teach a first-year seminar that uh, was going to be involved in that idea of new students coming to the college. Where are they? What's the place that they find themselves? And building kind of performance around that. The theater department also offers a course called Community-Based Arts which has to do with using theater and the other arts as a way of connecting with community, usually gathering stories from people. And, a, and the expert in that is Jerry Pope, who lives in Swannanoa and um, teaches that course for us. So Jerry and I were talking about how do we collaborate with this first year seminar and this um, community-based arts class. And we came up with this idea of river stories, the stories of people who live on the river. And we live on the river. The college is on the river. And the idea of the river as a connection between our college community and our immediate neighbors began to be kind of intriguing. So then what happened is I went and talked to a couple of the people at the Environmental Leadership Center, the college's um, Center for, for Environmental Education uh, and Outreach. And we got really excited about that idea of connecting to our neighbors through the, the issue of the quality of the Swannanoa River. And then it turns out that the state is looking at, and certain agencies, community agencies, are pushing for the idea of reclassifying the Swannanoa from Class C to Class B, which means it would actually have some protection. Not great protection, but much better protection than it has now. So that's maybe in the works, but the state needs information about that. And we thought, well, 
maybe there's a way that we could use our classes to gather information to aid in this effort. And maybe the students could actually see some actual social, political, environmental change happen while they were here as a result of their efforts. We're very lucky to have this valley because uh, there have been several efforts to take this valley and turn it into something else. The Tennessee Valley Authority, which runs dams and reservoirs in Tennessee and throughout the southeast uh, to b make hydroelectric energy, until 1974 actually was trying to turn this valley into a reservoir with a dam on it. Uh, and this college led the, a lot of the effort to stop that. They, they organized the local citizens. The, the, the Warren Wilson was sort of the nexus of that happening. And they stopped that effort. It started in 1961 and went on for 13 years. And it was a big legal fight. Um, I'm Melissa Blair. I teach history here at Warren Wilson, and my first year seminar class is called uh, The Activist Tradition in American History. And so in thinking about that class, I was already planning on having the students do some sort of environmental work. Um, so when Graham started talking about the Swannanoa River Project, I was really attracted to that idea of being able to tie my students' service not only into the curriculum of the class, but also into this broader project um, that students from all over the campus are involved in and that's going to have a real impact on the community. And so that's why we're here and we're going to be doing sampling not only today, but my class is going to be going out a couple more times with Western North Carolina Alliance um, to do some more of the sampling that we're doing today and also uh, some other kinds of work with that group. So that's what we're doing. We're really excited about it. Uh, my name is Nick Rose. I work for the Western North Carolina Alliance. Um, and basically today we're doing some bacteria monitoring on the river. And our organization focuses on protecting rivers such as the Swannanoa River and all the French Broad watershed. Um, so we have the Riverkeeper program, which we focus on the rivers. And we also do a lot on public land up in the national forest with invasive exotic species. And both of these are major environmental issues. And we absolutely could not function without volunteers. Volunteers such as from Warren Wilson College are a huge benefit to us and we're extremely grateful to have people to help us with this. Hi, I'm Carol Groban and I'm involved with Friends and Neighbors of Swannanoa, which is a local community nonprofit here in the Swannanoa community. It's all volunteers. Uh, we do a lot of different projects in the community, cleanups, beautifications, and uh, we have had a very long and uh, rewarding partnership with Warren Wilson College and working in the Swannanoa community. We've had hundreds of students that have come out and participated in community projects of all different kinds, helping us with our new community garden that we just started, working on river cleanups, uh, roadside cleanups, helping us to build new parks, walking paths. Um, it's just, it's unbelievable uh, what the school has done in partnership with the community, um, the projects that we've been able to get done, and the amount of work that really motivated students can do in a short amount of time is is unbelievable and uh, it's just been a great experience and we're looking forward to more of the same. Well today we went out to Swannanoa River and we know it's all it's a class three or a C class I guess they call it so the water is like kind of polluted so we kind of just went out and got a bunch of trash and tires and like strap metal everything that we could to help you know improve the health of the river. I feel great. I love doing stuff like this. It makes me feel like better, not only as a person, but as a community. You know, Warren Wilson, we're like a pretty close-knit place and you see them all muddy and stuff. So it's pretty intense and it's a really nice experience. I feel like it's great because I feel like I saw the transformation in the community. I was taking out the trash and literally was tangibly seeing um, things improve in front of me and the environment. And people, we actually bumped into a couple of people on the Swannanoa River who uh, stopped to say thank you and I really appreciate the work that you're doing and I, it feels good. And the main thing, the most important thing for me, I realize now, is this idea of, of who, where are we? You know, who are we? The, um, you know, Wendell Berry, who's kind of an inspiration to this project, too, for, um, because of his writings, said, you know, you don't know who you are until you know where you are. So where are we? And who are we connected with? And 
we have this global commitment and the idea of global citizenship or global engagement, which is becoming more and more important to our general education system. And it starts very locally with that local engagement and that local connection um, to the people. So we're not in a bubble anymore. You know, we're, we're really connected to the people who are closest to us and we're literally connected by the water of the Swannanoa River.